Price is a physician who practiced as an anesthesiologist for more than 20 years. The question was asked at a meeting on barriers in access to care CN at a committee meeting on Tuesday to address barriers to access adequate health care. Georgia State Representative Betty Price asked about the legality of quarantining HIV patients to stop the spread of the virus that causes AIDS. What are we legally able to do? Price asked Dr. Pascal Wortley, director of the HIV AIDS epidemiology section at the Georgia Department of Public Health. I don't want to say the quarantine word, but I guess I just said it. What would you advise, or are there any methods, legally, that we could do that would curtail the spread? Wortley answered by explaining in detail one HIV surveillance program that is currently in place, as well as another that she says will be implemented soon, but did not answer Price's question about quarantine. Wortley underscored the importance of identifying HIV patients who have been diagnosed but are not in care, as they are a disproportionate cause of new cases. It just seems to me it's almost frightening the number of people who are living that are potentially carriers well, they are carriers but, potential to spread, said Price. Whereas, in the past, they died more readily and then at that point, they are not posing a risk. So, we've got a huge population posing a risk if they're not in treatment. Getting tested and knowing one's status is the first step in the fight to end HIV AIDS. The CDC estimates one in seven people who have HIV don't know they are infected. They can then unwittingly infect their sexual partners or, in the case of drug users, individuals with whom they share needles or syringes. Not since the height of the AIDS epidemic in the 1980s has the quarantining of people with HIV been a serious discussion. Although the topic was enough in the public discourse at that time that one poll found about half of respondents would support that kind of curtailing of civil rights. Men and women who are HIV can virtually eliminate their chances of transmitting the virus if they are under proper care. Price, an anesthesiologist, was elected to the Georgia House of Representatives in a special election in 2015. She is married to former HHS Secretary Tom Price, an orthopedic surgeon. According to her official biography, Betty Price has also served on the boards of the Medical Association of Atlanta and the Medical Association of Georgia. My first impression is, thank God, as a doctor, she is not treating people with HIV, because she clearly knows nothing about the disease, said CNN legal analyst Mel Robbins. As was the case with Ebola, to have any kind of quarantine, the immediate threat to the public would have to be so substantial as to warrant the infringement upon someone's individual rights. The LGBTQT advocacy group GLAAD, which started in the 1980s to fight against defamatory coverage of people living with HIV, according to their website, demanded an apology from Price in a statement. Sarah Kate Ellis, president and CEO of GLAAD, said it is reprehensible that the comments were made by a physician and lawmaker. We have come a long way in how we understand and talk about HIV as a nation, and comments like those made by Georgia State Representative Betty Price fly in the face of that progress and of basic decency, said Ellis. Price's office did not respond to CNN's multiple requests for comment. The Georgia Department of Public Health, on behalf of Dr. Wortley, declined to comment.